Hi everyone, I'm Alex. And I'm Whitney. Welcome back to our channel, Plant Based Juniors. Most people know about the common nutritional recommendations during pregnancy. Focus on getting in a folate, taking a prenatal vitamin, eating a little extra. But not everyone is as familiar with another important nutrient, DHA. DHA is a very long chain omega-3 fatty acid found mainly in seafood and eggs. DHA is critical to support the proper development of baby's brain, eyes, and nervous system. Additionally, omega-3 fatty acid intake during pregnancy has been shown to help support a healthy mood in the postpartum period. DHA accumulation ramps up during the third trimester of pregnancy and continues for the first two years of a baby's life, which is why it is so important for pregnant women to get enough during this critical stage. Because a lot of people don't eat fish, many women, especially those who are plant-based, have suboptimal DHA levels. Plant-based women have been shown to have lower levels of DHA in umbilical cord blood and in breast milk. Our bodies make DHA from another omega-3 fatty acid known as ALA, which is found in plant foods such as walnuts and chia seeds. However, the conversion rate of ALA to DHA is pretty low, about 1-10%. to 10%. Additionally, omega-6 fatty acids found in plant oils compete with omega-3s for enzymes for modification, meaning a high intake of omega-6 can further reduce the body's ability to convert ALA to DHA. This is why we recommend DHA supplementation during pregnancy. The American Pregnancy Association and the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend 200 milligrams of DHA per day during pregnancy and 300 during breastfeeding. However, research suggests that these numbers might be too low and studies demonstrating the greatest effects have used doses of one to two grams per day. Supplementation is especially important for plant-based mamas because only preformed DHA can raise the level of DHA in mom's bloodstream and therefore reach the fetus or reach the baby through breast milk. The DHA formed by mom's body from ALA, which is not preformed, does not get to baby. Another reason supplementation may be preferred over consuming DHA from fish is because of harmful substances found in seafood. Heavy metals and environmental toxins are a concern with seafood consumption, and one of the reasons that in 2004, the FDA advised women to limit their fish intake. However, we know that the benefits of DHA are so important that simply cutting out fish is not a good option. Supplementing with pure, clean fish oil is a way to avoid potential exposure to environmental toxins, but obviously not an option for our plant-based moms. Luckily, that's not the only way. Algae oil is a reliable plant-based source of DHA. Microalgae is actually where fish get their DHA in the first place, so really supplementing with it cuts out the middleman. We like Nordic Naturals prenatal DHA for our predominantly plant-based mamas who do consume fish and Nordic Naturals algae omega for those who are strictly plant-based. Nordic Naturals is the official omega-3 supplement of the American Pregnancy Association, and there are so many reasons we love them. Number one, their algae oil is produced using a 100% hexane-free process. That means no chemicals. Number two, their marine oil is only sourced from non-endangered wild-caught fish. Number three, their processing plant is fueled solely on biofuel left over from making their oil. That means they have a very minimal carbon footprint. Stay tuned for our upcoming video on DHA needs for kids. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more prenatal and pediatric plant-based nutrition information. And visit our website, Plant Based Juniors, or follow us on Instagram at Plant Based Juniors for more free resources. Thanks so much for watching.